This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming Clear Creek Amana High School production, Iowa premiere, in fact, of a new musical f- based on the movie Freaky Friday. Say hi to uh, Michaela Tackaberry. Hi, Michaela. Hi. And Bree Bevins. Bree, welcome. Hi. <laughs> nice to have you both here. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. So before we start, uh, tell me a little bit about, so what uh, what grade in school are each of you? Uh, well, I am a senior. Yeah, I'm also a senior. Two seniors at Clear Creek Amana. Mm-hmm. And have you been doing theater productions for a long time? Uh, yeah, I've been doing uh, musicals and plays since I was in fifth grade. Um, yeah, so I've been in like Oliver, Footloose, uh, uh, Music Man, yeah, mm-hmm. all the some classics. <laughs> um, I started. I started when I was in sixth grade, actually in Shrek the Musical, and then I continued on in high school, and we have been in all the same ones mm-hmm. since then. Yeah. Well, the musical is going to have a very familiar title to just about everybody in oh, the yeah. audience, yes. Freaky Friday, mm-hmm. uh, that has been remade by Walt Disney, I think, three separate times. Yeah. <laughs> Once in the uh, 70s, there was a TV version, and then uh, probably the version most familiar is the uh, one from... Uh, the early 2000s mm-hmm. with Jamie Lee Curtis. I think it's the that's the most recent, but even that is, what, 15 years old? I know. Uh, already. And got the musical treatment, like it seems like every movie ever yep. has mm-hmm. done. Uh, but this is the first time it's going to be staged by a high school in Iowa. So first off, congratulations. Thank you. On acquiring that. And the two of you play the, well, almost... Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, we play the same out, characters. I yeah. mean, yeah. yeah. So there are you know, almost four different personalities, right. That are required because so, 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 so you know, for anyone who doesn't remember, this is the one where the mom and the daughter switch bodies, and you. So who's the mom and who's the daughter? So I play the mom at the beginning of the show, Catherine. Okay, and the mom's body. The mom's body, there and I go. am the mom at the beginning. And then I switch, and I'm Ellie for the rest of the show. Um, and for me, it's the exact opposite. I play the daughter at the beginning of the show, hence my colored hair and my kind of punk sort of look. And uh, then okay. I switch. Um, I become the mother. I switch into the mother uh, by the end of the show. So Yeah, this has to be a huge challenge um. as... <laughs> from an acting perspective mm-hmm. uh, because yeah. not only do you have to you know play the different personalities but you know I'll be you know you're the, you're the same age yeah oh yeah so mm-hmm. you have to you each have to play ages that are not even close really to what you are uh yeah pretty much I mean also I mean both characters you know grow and develop and have their own little arc too so you have to p- portray that for both characters which is kind of a challenge but yeah I'd also say it's how you hold yourself and your um, composure and like definitely you have to make that switch look real to the audience even though we're the same age like I have to make myself <laughs> act like the mother and then the audience has to tell right away that I've switched characters completely so it's all just like like a flip of a switch almost yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah for sure so which is which uh so we'll uh, start with uh with you Michaela which mm-hmm. is the which was the most challenging to be uh to be the mom be the mom personality or the daughter personality um probably the mom just because um I had to bring out that motherly side and like um I don't know, a reprimanding side to me. And it's easier for me to kind of just like be the bratty one, be the one who doesn't care a lot. Like, so that was kind of more challenging for me. Pretty yeah. same question. Pretty much the exact opposite. I um, There's a reason they have me as the daughter's body because for the majority of the show, I play the mom and I'm used to playing more like mature characters. I'm not used to getting to play like, yeah, like bratty, immature type like so at the beginning of the show I really have to like work on you know being a little whiny being a little younger like I'm a teenager everything revolves around me that kind of that kind of attitude so yeah it's a little yeah that's definitely the most challenging part of it tell me a little bit about the music in the show this is always you know these you know the with these you know adaptations the stories are always real familiar Mm -hmm. uh, and that's almost the easy part although Mm -hmm. as we said it's definitely some challenge here from a physical acting perspective but the music that's brand new and you got to figure out a way to sell that to the Mm -hmm. audience who's never experienced any of these songs before yeah I'd say the music itself um, very current day so it's very very catchy Um, there's a lot of there's really good variety with it there's lots of upbeat there's lots of slow heartfelt ones um the music is always also very storytelling so it's like all the the plot is basically in these songs with your words like um yeah 
Yeah, no, I absolutely adore the music to the soundtrack. I've listened to it a million times. I mean, we both did when before when they announced what the musical was going to be. We both like just were constantly listening to this music. It's really good, um, even on its own, even without the context of the story. And all the songs are really catchy, but they also manage to portray the like moods of the story very, very well. Um, so I really, yeah, respect that about it. Cause well, I think, and, and it, and it seems like in the, in the Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan version, wasn't the daughter a musician? Yeah. She yeah. Was she, in, she is, had her own like, little is, garage is, band. is that reflected in this adaptation no. or not? Oh. No, it's not really no. mentioned. I mean, she, the daughter, she, you can tell she's kind of like a little, a little punk kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, know, yeah. She's... Well, Bree's got the punk hair thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me those are watching the video. You're telling me this is not your normal look. Oh, to no. Have the my hair, hair. So this uh, color on top is usually what my whole head looks like. So, but um, no, for this musical, I was like, my, my grandma's a hairstylist. And so um, Deb and Miss Williams. They asked me if I could um, dye my hair to kind of give that more little punk look. So, um, and I was like, yeah, no, sure. It's easy. I get it for free. So, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Talking with Michaela and Bree from the upcoming production of Freaky Friday at the Clear Creek Amana High School. Um, so, it, did you watch any of the other adaptations going into this to yes. prep a little bit? I absolutely adored Lindsay Lohan when I was a young little girl. I love um, the original Freaky Friday so much. It's like still makes me, you know, like just the connection that the mother and the daughter have. Like I'll still cry watching that movie. So Michaela? yeah, I've watched uh, Lindsay Lohan one since I was young. So when I found out this musical, like it was turning into a musical, I was like confused. But um, at the same time, it turned out to be such a good experience. Uh, well, a lot going on and a lot on your shoulders because mm -hmm. the two of you really, if you can't, you guys can't do this right, then the whole thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, kind of, no pressure. I mean, yeah. I mean no, no, no. <laughs> um, but uh, feeling good about it as you uh, head into production week? I've definitely learned so much since the beginning of the show. And I'm, yeah, I feel... I feel pretty confident. I feel it's a, I mean, part of what makes it so easy though is the fact that it's just so fun to do and it's so mm -hmm. easy to like put yourself in those shoes mm -hmm. because especially as like, I mean, you know, teenagers who sometimes connect with or sometimes like have troubles connecting like with our parents or whatever as, as that happens. I mean, it's, yeah, it's really fun to get to do that on stage and with something we love so much like music. I mean, yeah. Um, I'd say I'm definitely getting just more comfortable with it instead of like reading from the script or telling the story like it's mm -hmm. we're making it our own story in a way and exactly yeah. um, getting to learn from it as well like we want the audience to learn what we've been learning this whole time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without doing too much in the way of spoilers what's your <laughs> favorite moment in the show scene or mm -hmm. song right now um one of my favorite songs is in the beginning um, it's called what you got and it's basically mm -hmm. um I'm, I'm the daughter in the mom's body, and I'm doing this interview um, for my business. And I'm just, my goal is to make my mom look so horrible, and I'm making fun of her and being sarcastic, but it's a really fun song to do, and it's funny. So that's one of my favorites, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, man, I absolutely love um, all of the, like, switching scenes. Like, the parts where, the songs where we switch bodies are really, really cool because we kind of sing over each other. Like in the beginning, you know, we're having an argument. We're, you know, like wishing that like, oh, you, I wish you could see what I see. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really fun to like uh, portray that, like that shift in like mindset. Mm -hmm. So that's like my favorite part to do. Mm -hmm. But song wise, I think my favorite song is also probably what you got. It's like <laughs> really fun. It's a really fun and hilarious song. So mm -hmm. The show is Freaky Friday at the Amana, uh, Clear Creek Amana High School, April 11th through the 13th, yes? Yes. Is there, now, do people just get tickets at the door? Can you order them in advance? How does that work? Uh, we always pretty much do, yeah, like tickets at the door. At the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all the shows start at 7, um, and there's one 2 o'clock one on Saturday as well. Yes. And also, this show is going to be judged for the uh, Iowa High School Musical mm -hmm. Theater Awards. Yes. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And are you... Uh, uh, so then there's a, then then there's some awards that happen in Des Moines, I think, toward mm -hmm. the end of the school year. Yes. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, this is our first year doing that. So mm -hmm. we've never done it before. I think we're a little nervous for it, but I mean, yeah. we're just yeah. hoping to do the same show every night and like we practiced and 
um, what comes of it will come, I guess. Yeah. Well, and it's also really cool because I think, I mean, I th I'm really hoping the judges like the show because it's not a show that very many people are familiar with. Like it was never, it was brand, never on brand Broadway. New yeah. 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 So, I mean, I think that I'm hoping the judges like it. I'm hoping, I mean, yeah, these Iowa musical theater awards are like, are like kind of a little like they're like a miniature like tony award kind of thing yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. well it just it sounds like a blast sounds like you all are having a lot of fun doing it and uh break a leg as you head into the show awesome right. thank, thank you so you. much <laughs> clear creek amana high school freaky friday april 11th through the 13th tickets available at the door you can look up the school if you need map directions or anything like that on the web again ladies thanks for being here thank, thank you, you so much you can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020 or download, watch the video podcast using your favorite podcast app or at kcck.org slash culture. I'm Dennis Green.